Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, another topic, which is, uh, I mean, being included uh, in in uh, reproduction and reproduction concepts, is the artificial insemination. Uh, in the past, uh, natural uh, mating. Uh, had been used especially uh, in rubber field condition. But uh, there were many reasons and we needed to shift towards artificial insemination. What is artificial insemination? Artificial insemination is basically the deposition of semen in the female reproductive tract by artificial method. It is one of the most important techniques ever devised for the genetic improvement of farm animals. It has been most widely used for breeding of dairy cattle and buffaloes. However, methods have been developed for inseminating sheep, goats, horses, dogs, and a variety of lamb animals. So let's see. Uh, I mean, we're, we will be comparing in the next uh, uh, slide uh, that at what time the mating or insemination uh, should be done. That is very important to understand it because for a successful uh, mating or insemination, we should know that exactly at what time uh, the insemination should be done or maturity should be accomplished. <clears throat> As you can see from here, uh, I mean, this uh, figure is showing that uh, when the animals, they are coming into heat, you can see they start to, I mean, interact with the animals, they start to move, stand, stand, like to stand, and uh, in the first hours, uh, when the animal is coming into heat, this is um, uh, the phase. Then um, I would say the next uh, standing heat, in which, uh, it, which, which, which basically um, the period uh, for about three to 30 hours, and on an average of 16 hours, for 16 hours, this kind of situation remains, uh, or the animal is in standing heat for about for this period. You can see the animal will interact with other animals. It will start to mount on other animals, or would like to be mounted by other animals, and that's it. Uh, in the third phase, uh, which is going off heat, and the, the, the ter terminal period of, of, of going off from heat, it, it lasts for about two to 24 hours, uh, and uh, on an average, it's uh, eight, eight, eight hours. <clears throat> so here, the behavior is almost uh, uh, the same, more or less. Here you can see, now at the bottom of this picture, you can see that it has been compared between artificial insemination and natural mating. Uh, when uh, the animal is in standing heat, so the best time starting if, if, if animal is in heat up to uh, for the first eight hours, okay, if you do the insemination, art, artificial insemination, okay. But the best, best results are between uh, 12 to 16 hours to 12 to 18 hours uh, after uh, uh, or coming into standing heat. So after 18 hours to 24 hours, um, you can also get good results, but not the best one. And after 24 hours, it becomes, uh, it's too late to, I mean, inseminate the animals for artificial insemination. And if we compare it with the natural mating system, <clears throat> in the first uh, three to four hours, it's too early, but the best time is from almost four to 18 hours 
in which if uh, natural mating occurs or happens, best results in terms of reproductive efficiency can be obtained. And after 18 hours and later, it's very late and you can't get the best results in this period. So <clears throat> here I will be, I mean, displaying or showing you different uh, um, components, equipment, or whatever we, we, we use uh, while we, I mean, do the artificial insemination. So here is a paper towel, a fine unit. We have a timer, thermometer. This is straw cutter, tweezer, and uh, like sanitary covers. This is AI gun and sanitary sheets. So all these things should be available while doing artificial insemination, especially if you, you are doing by yourself or you have a trained personnel appointed uh, at your own dairy farm. So these things are the basically required for doing artificial insemination. Um, besides this, uh, these things, I would uh, be telling you the advantages of uh, artificial insemination. Uh, the greatest advantage of uh, artificial insemination actually is the opportunity to spread superior genetic material through the extensive use of carefully tested and selected sires. On an average, a bull can have 50,000 services a year as against 40 to 50 by natural mating. So a lot of different, uh, I mean, this in the number of services provided by a bull, especially if the bull is uh, very carefully tested and selected and, and it has, has a superior genetic material. It plays uh, an important role in the reduction of various diseases, particularly the venereal diseases, uh, which spread most often by uh, natural mating. So the second uh, advantage of uh, artificial insemination Third uh, advantage, I would say that it helps to provide more complete and accurate breeding records, which is helpful in better herd management to overcome uh, different infertility uh, I mean, problems. Um, fourthly, bulls used in AI are more carefully and scientifically selected than ordinary bulls of most daily herds. This is very important, um, as I already discussed in, in, in the first advantage of artificial insemination. Um, another thing which is very important, it's, it's more economical than natural mating. Um, last but not least, it makes possible the mating of animals of great difference in size without any extent of it. I mean, the goal is of uh, I mean, larger size than the, 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 the dam, then it would be, I mean, there are chances that uh, the, the, the dam would be, uh, I mean, injured by this uh, specifically during the course of natural mating. And you can avoid it by using artificial insemination. So that is it for today. Thank you very much. And I hope you will be staying at home. So I would say stay home, stay safe. Thank you very much.